Antoine Duchesne, Buntrigger cycling team. Well, at first, I think I was around like 13 or 14 years old and I uh, was doing basketball and all, all those sports like pretty much every young kid do. And my older sister started uh, doing it and I went to see like a couple of races and I found it like really nice. So I try like by the end of the season to uh, do one or two races with her and I really like it. So the year after I got like into my local club uh, back in Saguenay and I I just love it and I kept on going uh, since then like since the uh, since 14 years old yeah pretty much like winning like being able to win the national title I think it's pretty I'm really proud of that and like being able to wear the national jersey uh, national champion jersey all around the world it's really nice and being able to get like on a pro team like that starting like from little boy in Quebec who nobody knows about anything in cycling being able to get like into a big team like that uh, if I'm pretty proud of being able to be a part of that I don't really know like I'm I'm more like I would say maybe all around there like I'm not the best climber I'm not the best sprinter I'm not the best uh, con uh, like time trial but I can climb w well, I can help like climbers to win race, I can help sprinter to win sprint, I can time trial all right, but like I'm basically like good in everything, but not like top on anything. I've been looking at this team for a long, like I'm pretty much like the, like I'm, I've been looking at this team since it started because I was in those age, like the team started when I was junior, so I was coming into this and been knowing Nay, Gavin, and those guys for a while, so I was, I, I was around when they were on that team. And I really found like nice, like having like a team who was like pro, but with only young guys and trying to not burn them up, like getting too early on big races. But they had the chance to do big races, but not too much. So like getting experience in, and all the guys like, you can see like those Taylor Finney and all. There's so many guys who went like on the top level who went through uh, this school, like I would say. I really love cooking and wine. I'm really pretty. I, I was working in a restaurant uh, in Quebec uh, on like sommelier and waiter, barman. I really love my. I'm living with like a big chef who's working on a nice restaurant, the Bistro B in Quebec, and uh, it's really nice. I really love like cooking with him and make like good food with good wine. So that's that's the thing. I, that's my little hobby that I really like. When I got into the team, he called me a lot, trying to know like where I was, like where I where I was right now, how I was feeling, and tried to see like he helped me like a little bit get into the team. And like before I knew him, like just by the name, that was kind of an honor being like able to like race for a Mercs. Like everybody knows Axel and Andy Mercs in the world, like especially like in cycling. No. The goal, like the further goal, well, would be like to get world tour for next year because I'm last year U23. I've been through like four year U23. I think I did step by step, being amateur, start doing Nation Cup first year, getting better the year after, getting result the third year, and then so I think this year I'm like I can I, I start like having a little like uh, background to try to maybe aim for a bigger result.